Hi guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. Today I feel like making a page with unicorn stickers. I mean, look at these, it even has glitter on it. <laughs> so um, I always also thought this would be nice because this unicorn is looking down like it's eating something. And I found this one yesterday and I went through it and I thought, oh, this is nice. It's a bit purple, purple and pink. Also like this one, but I think I like Let's just see. Oh, and there was a blue one. No, I think I like this one better. So that the unicorn is eating from this. <laughs> That's what I had in mind. Although there is also a really nice unicorn cupcake. You know what? I'm going to start with taking this out. This is a die cut block. And you just need to do this. It's so simple. And you can even do this. So it's a bit in 3D. Oh, I like that. So I'm just going to do... I'm not gonna do five layers, but I think three layers is nice. It's fun. It's here, so why not? So you can even do five layers if you like, but I think that's gonna be too much for a art journal. So it's gonna be this one and this. Mm. This one doesn't do much, does it? Let's see what this is. Mm, even more layers. <laughs> I can also do this one and then these. I think I'm gonna do that and maybe cut these out. Oh, maybe do this. It's been decided. And maybe this one. <laughs> okay, so there's gonna be a pie. This one I'm not gonna use. Okay. Okay, so I've got my pie. <laughs> And I think I'm going to use this book because I wanted to have some uh, words behind it and um, I thought I can just as well work in this book instead of tearing out pages and put it somewhere else. Although I do want to use purple and I even looked up this thing. So it's going to be two of the same pages if I do, do that. So I could skip a page. Or I could not skip a page and just do it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do it. And I want to use these. So, well, <laughs> now what? Oh my goodness, I just started the video. Guys, I need a new battery. Ah! So I always have this next to my, uh, well, on my desk next to me. So in here are two more batteries. So, no problem. I'm gonna get a new battery. See you in a sec. Okay, ready to go. So I'm just gonna do it over here and who cares that it's a, a purple pink page and a purple pink page. <laughs> so this one is gonna go over here. So this one is gonna go over here, but then I have this page. Um, I can put the unicorn cupcake over here or maybe some circles. You know what? Um, I need to find out how big this is. I'm not sure if I like the white. Oh, well, I do like the white. Um, I want to say I'm not sure if I do like the white border, but oh, well, why not? So this is going to go over here. Okay, I need to stick this over here again because I'm not ready for this. I'm going to do something I've never done before. So I thought, let's do it on camera. I need a pen. Um... I don't know, zero, five, why not? And I want to make a square. Do I? Well, I want to make this and then this and this and then this. Okay. And I want to make it a bit scribbly because I really like that. So I might go over it twice or maybe even three times. <gasps> Oh, I do like this. The question is, do I want to make... I'm going to make one over here as well. I want, I want to have three dots over here. <laughs> oh, dots, guys. Well, not really dots, they're circles. And another one. <laughs> well, that's nice. 
shall I do one for the cupcake? I'm gonna do one for the cupcake. So that's gonna go over here because why not? I'm gonna do it a bit like this. Oh, I have to be careful I don't break this paper. This is very brittle paper. It's an old book. So um, if I push too hard, I'll just push right through the paper. So, oh dear. What do you think of my cute little pencil case? It's way easier to have them in a little jar somewhere over here. But I do like this so much better. So every time I need a pen, I can just grab this and th say, oh, I need a pen. <laughs> I love stuff like that. Okay. So I've got this and I've got my colors. So I want, I'm going to use Faber Castell Gelatos. So I'm going to use purple and of course this one. And uh, maybe this one is nice. Do I do some pink? Oh, coral, coral probably is nice and a bit of pink. Oh, why not? And a bit of green like this or this one. Something like this and probably some yellow. I don't know, but I'm gonna start with a bit darker purple on the edge And I have not used this in ages. So I'm not really sure if this works what I'm going to do <laughs> Should have tried it out first. I want to just smudge it a bit with my fingers And I've never tried that on this paper so but oh well, look at it. It works. Oh boy, I get goosebumps. I'm not really good with stuff like this. <laughs> ah, why do I do this? Whenever I go over paper or over fabric with my hands, I get goosebumps everywhere. It's something I can't really handle. I don't know why. It's just I can't help it. I, even if I hear someone else rub over a piece of fabric, I get goosebumps. So what do I do? I go over an old bit of paper with this and rub it out with my fingers. Because, oh well. <laughs> so, uh, it's gonna be a lot of goosebumps on this page. I can try to do it with a baby wipe, but I think it's too wet and I like this a bit. Not sure if I really like it, but for now. So I do need a baby wipe. To clean my fingers in between. So shall I try? So shall I try it a little bit over here? Oh, okay, I like that way better. I'm just gonna do it just a little bit because I can't use too much. Then the paper will get too what? Too wet? Too what? Too wet? So it's gonna be. Light purple over here and over here and over here. Oh, but I wanted light purple inside. Oh, well, then there's gonna be pink inside. Ooh. So I don't think I want everything to have color. I'm just scribbling away and, and just making it up as I go along. And that's really nice. I also smudged the ink a little, but oh well. Oh, I want this to be all pink. Oh, or a bit of green. I do love pink and green. Oh boy, I hope this works. <laughs> oh, luckily it does. Because this paper is so old, um, it doesn't really, it isn't really smooth. So it could have been that this wouldn't how do you say that? It could have been just a dark spot, but I managed to do it. So now for some blue. Uh, blue. This is going to be blue. I'm not sure if I want more of these things, but apparently for now I don't. Because I don't know what I'm going to do on the rest of this page. Oh, I love this color. Okay, I'm going to go over it over here. And bit over here this is really nice <laughs> it's fun to do also okay I have no idea if this is gonna be fun or not but oh well let's just try it so a bit of this one 
over here and over here and oh well over here oh this is a bit metallic ooh nice so I don't mind that it's still a bit like a big stripe a big uh, looks I want to say a beam a beam of color it's okay Shall I just put in a bit of vanilla color? Because it's fun. Well, a bit, a lot, apparently. Put a bit over here. This is fun. I've never done anything like this before. I like it. You must be careful not to tear the page over here. more yellow no I don't want it to be too yellow wait because I wanted the purple colors like these a bit of blue dark blue where do I do that over here a bit of dark blue and a bit of dark blue over here and a bit over here <laughs> I hope this is gonna work dark blue this one stays a bit more scribbly so some of them really you can smooth out like this one but uh, is this the right thing on there yeah okay this, these colors are so different <laughs> okay but the blue you can still see the scribble you made oh well so you have to be careful with that because some of the colors will really blend and the other ones you'll st still see the scribble you made so I do want a bit more purple a bit darker purple oh this is metallic purple let's see what that does um, um. purple over here oh I hope this one works because this this looks really awful but well, the metallics are, are nice oops now this is a really weird page I kind of like it do I want a bit more this over here a bit more over here a bit over here I want a bit more purple and pink here we go and then I think I need to dry it with my heat tool okay on the other side oh this thing oh my gosh <laughs> the paper is getting too wet guys <laughs> well I think I'm gonna do it like this for now okay this side I'm gonna take my heat tool make sure there are no flakes left on my craft sheet because uh, then you get stains and did I use this one use this one and then I'm gonna get my heat tool so this one is gonna go over here oh this is gorgeous so I'm gonna use it a bit more over there and a bit over here and probably be probably over here <laughs> sorry so, a bit over here see this one blends way better I like it I like it I think I have no idea what this is gonna be yet there's gonna be unicorn on there I know that much but okay heat tool it was already dry almost now I don't really like this it's a bit too dark so maybe I can go over it with a bit lighter color so this was the first thing I tried and it's just not exactly what I want so let's see what happens when I do this it's better but still I think I need to glue something over it <laughs> oh 
Okay, time for some pie. Uh, now this I want to have a bit of this color. It works way better on this paper. <laughs> Although, oh well. So I'm gonna glue this on with some normal glue. Question is, do I need to glue on the unicorn as well? Because it is a sticker, but will it stay on the page? So I need to find out where to put the pie. I'm just gonna put the pie over here. <laughs> put the pie over here. Right. Then I want a pencil that I have no idea where I put it. Um. Oh my gosh, where did I put that? Okay, I was looking for my Stabilo All Pencil. I did find a black one and a white one and I put it somewhere. <laughs> And that's where the story ends. So I did want to trace this. I didn't glue everything. Um, wait a minute. Come on. <laughs> well, here we go. I thought this is gonna video that gonna be a video that's gonna work. Yeah, <laughs> I shouldn't think that. <laughs> okay. Oh well, it stands up a little. I wanted to go, uh, you know, around this with my. Stabilo all pencil and uh, then make it uh, smudge it a bit but I can't find it so I'm going to try a little bit with this and I'm not sure if this is gonna work because I'll probably end up going on the like I did over here on the picture itself I'm not really good at tracing stuff like this but I think Hope I'll manage. Ah. Wait, I need to do this a bit closer. So this is an Arteza brush pen. Brush marker, I mean. And you know what? It works really well. It has almost the same effect. So this is what I was going for. So, nice. I'm happy with this. Phew. But I still don't know where my pencil is. So now I'm going to make this 3D. <laughs> that chair. Oh boy. Um, what did I want to do? I have this one. So I've got some, what you call that, foam tape. And I'm just going to put one over here, one over here. And just one in the middle because it is a big, big part. Um, so like I said, this is in an art journal so you can't make it too big. Because then if you do the next page, uh, you're in trouble. <laughs> So, oh, right. Come on. Usually I have no trouble with stuff like this, like this one. I just take it off, but today is different. Ah, here we go. <laughs> now to get it off your fingers. Ah. Okay, so this one is going to go over here. So this is so nice, you don't have to fussy cut this. Really nice stuff this. I bought it at the Action, of course, where else? And I absolutely love it. So this one. And where are my, what you call them? Bramble, brambles, brambles, So this is gonna go over here. Right. And then there were, where, ah, here they are. What you call these? Bramberries? In Dutch it's Bramen. You learned a word. <laughs> Bramen. So put them over here. If I can. <laughs> it's difficult today. Okay. And now for the unicorn. Look, this is nice. It's a bit 3D. I did have another piece and I think I would like it. To, ah, this little small thing. I think that would be nice. So I need another one. I'm going to cut it in half because it's way too much for this little thing. So here we go. <laughs> Let me see. 
see this thingy. So now you have some layers. Look at it, it comes alive a bit more. So now I want the unicorn over here. Oh, it is white, but I kind of don't mind. I kind of like it. I could sponge it a little. You know, it, <laughs> it has a bit that ha oh, effect because of the white border around it. I do want to put some extra glue on here um, because I could have sponged it, but I think I like it in this case. And it actually does stick really well because my fingers are stuck now. <laughs> okay, it's gonna eat off the pie, so I'm gonna put it over here. Or should I just put it a bit off the page? Mmm, thinks that looks delicious. <laughs> I've got a unicorn. So, do I want this one as well? I do. I think it'll stay on. Let's hope so. And I think I'm going to do this one. And I think I'm going to keep the white border. And a blue one. And a purple one with stars, with a bit of green, or this one. Okay, it's going to be the stars or the green. Stars it is. No, you thought, I want green. Well, too bad, it's stars. Okay, this is getting weird. <laughs> I do love it. I've been thinking, how am I going to use my stickers in my art journals? And uh, I had no idea, but I do like this page so far. So it needs more. This is a page that does need more. But what? I can do a word over here. I can also go around this with the grey. If that works. Now I think it would have been nicer if there was an extra layer on here, but it would just be too thick for the art journal. So, oh well. Okay, if I can't find that pencil, this is really nice and it's actually really easy to do. Now, any ideas what to do with the rest of the page? Because this is as far as I got in my mind before I started. I thought this is about what I want. <laughs> so now what? I still have lots of page left. With nothing on it. Okay, let's just first cut this off. <laughs> ah, I think I need to glue on the stickers. They're already letting go of the page. So this one is already, yeah. Oh boy, now I need to get it back at exactly the right spot. <sighs> okay, didn't think that through, oh well. And I don't have it, oh, I wanted to say my glue is gone, but no, I still have some. <laughs> okay, so I'll probably need to do the circles as well. So get it back in the same spot. Ah, I can. <clears throat> I wanted to say I can do that and then this happened. <gasps> I can do that. <laughs> so let's do the circles. I thought it wouldn't stick because the, the paper is so old and it just, well, it just doesn't work. A one. So in the meantime, what do we do with the rest? Actually, it needs glitter, don't you think? I mean, it, is a unicorn. There is some glitter in this, but you don't really see it. A two. Or do I use... Unicorns are real. Ah! Be a unicorn in... Be a unicorn in a field of horses. But horses are nice too. So, no. It's not gonna be that one. <laughs> but I can use that other quote. Make it a real sticker page. So unicorns are real. I do like that. But this one I do want a sponge. Haha. <laughs> I can use sugar plum or this one. This is perfect plum. 
Oh, sweet sugar plum or perfect plum. Well, let's go for perfect. We won't do anything less than perfect. No, yes, we do. Nice. Let's glue it on. <laughs> I can make a little square for that as well, or a little uh, rectangle, a little box. You glue went over it. Unicorns are real, I like that. But if I make a square for this like that... Oh dear, I need a pen. <laughs> I didn't leave it on here, did I? No. Look, what a nice pencil case. So, which one did I have? Probably this one, it's upside down. No, not really sure. I am going to do this. This one is gonna go out of the box. <gasps> what? Yes, it is. Oh, I like that. And I think I need to go over this one again to make it a bit darker. Because I went over it with all kinds of stuff. Oh, actually with gelatos. Oh, I like it. Okay. Oh boy. I think it needs something else, but if I do too much, it'll be too much. But it still needs something. But what? Glitter? Can I just use just, just glitter? Just put some glitter over here. I do have these glitter pens, but let me just try them on a piece of paper what they do. They really make stripes. No, I don't need that. I can just put <laughs> a few dots. I mean, come on, I need a few dots. It's a unicorn page and I do have borders, so I do need dots. But what kind? Oh, this one. Purple. <gasps> Sparkly purple. Wow. <laughs> okay, what will work? I do like sparkly purple. Oh, this one is the same. So this one or that ah, purple, of course. So I am going to put some sparkly purple over here. So I've got a big one and a small one. Oh, I like it. And a very small one. I've got too much glue on my hands. <laughs> I do like this, so I can do another one over here. A small one and a smaller one. Something like this. Yes, well that's enough. Do I use this? Nope. <laughs> but I do want some glitter. It's it's or do I scribble something? Let me know what would you do. Help me out guys. I can scribble another square or something over here, but I wouldn't know what to put in there. Do I still have some nice stickers, some feathers, a flower? Or where did I leave my my book? Or maybe something from this, like an ice cream or or some berries. Oh yeah, this was such a weird block. So this you can push out and then in the middle you have this and here you have flags, but you can't push them out. Push them out. You have to cut these. I don't know why. Let's, let's just use this one because I'm probably... Surprise, it stopped recording. Well, I pushed this one out, guys. I'm not gonna use the feathers or anything. I'm gonna use these and I pushed out some berries from another cupcake. Shh, don't tell. And I was just in the process of making this rectangle when I found out that it wasn't recording anymore. Surprise, I think I need a new camera, but yeah, I think I need a bit more followers <laughs> to be able to afford that. Oh, well, um, oh, this is fun. And then over here, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do some glitter or just a little, little berry thing. Just a little square. 
Is it recording? Yes, it is recording. I'm going to do a little square over here. And I need to fussy cut a berry. Or a feather. Nah, a berry. Where are my berries? Two berries over here. Am I going to do this in 3D? Or am I just going to put these berries over here and here? Oh, guys, these are such difficult decisions. <laughs> they shouldn't be, but they really are. So let's glue these on. And the final berry. And I am going to put some glitter on here. Because, I mean, it's unicorn, cupcakes, everything that's nice. You do need glitter. Am I right? Or am I right? I'm right. So, oh, I wanted to put this on here. <laughs> glitter! Okay, so I do have this glitter, which is awesome. And actually, that's probably enough. I do have purple glitter, pinkish glitter, and another pinkish glitter. You know what? Let's try a bit of everything. So a bit of this over here. I'm just going to put some dots over here. And I'm just going to do this. So it's not going to be, whoa, it's glittery. But if you tilt the book a bit, you'll find out, whoa, it's glittery. Um, right. Let's try this one. I've never used this before. Never ever. So let's try it immediately on the page. Ooh, why haven't I used this before? That's awesome. <laughs> um, bit of glitter over here. Not with me. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I like it, but I do like the subtle white glitter. Actually, way better. You don't. This is a bit too out there. You, oh, how do you say that? You see it a bit too much. So I'm just going to go around all the squares. Not in the squares, but around the squares. All of it. And then just spread it out a little. Spread the joy, spread the glitter. So let's just see, uh, first let's see if I can get the glitter off my finger. Okay, what do we have? Can you see the glitter? Ooh. You know, I do like this. <laughs> uh, I do like the fact that there's loads of glitter on here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but not inside the squares. I like that. I wanted to put it over here, but I didn't. And I'm very happy I didn't. Mm. I do want to put some of this over here. I thought it's it's missing something. Oh wait, the glitter is still wet. Ha! Huh? Oh well, now there's glitter on my brush marker. Oh, I love these brush markers. Yes, now I'm happy. So I'm not gonna do any more because I really want to put something over here and something over there, but I really like it. It's a weird page. Like I said, I've never made anything like it and I never like the white uh, borders around the sticker, but somehow it's nice over here. And this one I sponged, which is also very nice. And I do love my one little blueberry, I think it's called. <laughs> and now I really want pie. <laughs> and a cupcake. A unicorn cupcake. What do you think? Let me know what you think of this page. Um, it's totally different from what I normally do. But I just wanted to work with my with my gelatos and just see if I can do that with my finger. Well, I can, but ew, I get goosebumps. And uh, the paper wasn't just, wasn't right for this. But I do like it. Yeah. Maybe I could have been a bit more purple over here. But I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Let me know if you would do it. Uh, I can't do it right now because the glitter is still wet. But maybe I'll go over it later on. Because this one doesn't... That's it. That's what's bugging me. This, this thing doesn't have any color around it. Or in it. 
or anywhere. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Final touch. So a bit of this one and then a bit of the darker one, which I actually don't, like I said, really like that much, but I have it on my page now. So a bit of pink and a bit of purple. I think it's better. Okay, now it's finished. I really do like it. So let's show you up close. Look at the glitter. <laughs> Cupcake. And all kinds of berries. And then over here it says unicorns are real. And they are. Look at it. And they do love pie. So uh, again, I would love to hear what you think about this page. Um, I'm so happy I uh, you finally used my unicorn stickers. Uh, <laughs> so that's it for today, guys. Uh, you know, I would like it if you like and subscribe. And please hit that notification bell to be notified of my videos. And so YouTube can find my videos to notify you. And um, all that's left to say is... I really want a cupcake. And groetjes from Holland. Greetings from Holland. <laughs> Bye.